Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rectified and in today's episode, I will be teaching you how to get another unique weapon in Fallout 3. Now, today's unique weapon will be the Mesmetron. Now, to let you guys know, this weapon, what it does is it allows you to hypnotise your enemies into, well, doing things for you, really. You can either steal some of their items while they're hypnotised, ask them for whatever they have. You can also make them a slave, if you have a slave collar. And also, you can just, well, kill them. So what this does is this allows you to go up to any NPC or enemy in the game and hypnotise them. Now, to to get this, you want to come here on the map to Paradise Falls. Now, there's one of two ways you can get this weapon. Well, there's two ways. You can either join the slavers and they'll give you this unique weapon. Or, you can either kill the guy at the desk in front and you can just take the weapon off his corpse so yeah and the way I'll be showing you is by joining the slavers I'll be showing you um, I'll be talking to the guy in the front of the Paradise Falls place and I'll be asking him for the weapon and the job so yeah so as you can see you gotta make it here on the map to Paradise Falls and you wanna talk to this guy right here so yeah Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Paradise Falls, what's that? Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? What? Are you right out of the vault? Paradise Falls is home to the slavers. Up there we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, Piss off. Slaves, huh? Well, everybody's got to make a living. Yep, and if you're not tough enough to survive, at least you can be useful to those of us who are. Why can't I go up there? There's two kinds of people who get into Paradise Falls. Slaves and slavers. So, unless you're looking to become a slave, piss off. Maybe, maybe there's something you need, huh? I help you, you let me in. Deal? What I need is for you to piss off. Eulogy Jones doesn't have time for putting up with morons and assholes like you. That's my job. But even I got limits. And all you're yapping is giving me a migraine. Give me some reason I shouldn't just end you. Right here and now. What if I were to get you some slaves, then you would let me in? Think you got what it takes, do you? Hmm. Yeah, I might have something you can do for me. If you don't screw it up, maybe I can get you into paradise. Think you can round us up some assets? It can't be all that hard, can it? I mean, you're a slaver after all. Oh, I see. You're some kind of hot shot. Fine. Here's the deal. Eulogy's got a few special contracts he wants filled. I'm too busy, or I grab them myself. So you're going to do it for me. Do this for me, and I'll get you into paradise. And if you don't screw it up, I might even split the commission with you. I'll round up some slurs for you, but what's the catch? I'm glad you asked. I got this Mesmetron thing. It's some kind of stun gun. I want you to test it out for me, a little research project. You take this Mezer, shoot it at some poor schmuck. While he's in La La Land, you slip one of these collars over his head. Be careful with that collar, it'll explode if you tinker with it. Tell the slave to boot it over here pronto or his head'll pop. You got all that? I hate repeating myself. That Mesmetron came with some kind of manual. I don't have time for that bullshit, so you better know how to read. I have to go now. About time. I got better things to do. Now, we've just been given the Mesmetron, and if you want, you can do the quest strictly business, but you don't have to keep doing the quest. And, um... All you need to do to get this weapon is to start the quest or just by killing him. Now to do that you'll have to kill him and then take the gun off his corpse. 
But, um, yeah, let me just show you the weapon right here. So, it does one damage, and for a good reason, it's only meant for hypnotizing people. And, um, yeah, so, I'm going to show you some gameplay of what it's like to use this weapon, and I'll teach you how to use it, and I'll be back after I've done that. Okay, so I'm at the Citadel right now, and as you can see, I've got the Mesmetron equipped. And I'm just gonna hypnotize one of the Brotherhood of Steel soldiers, as you can see right here. Hey. So it's a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin. Now, if I just go into Vats right here, I'm just gonna quick save in case I fail this. So remember, always quick save before you hypnotize because you can fail. I'm gonna go into Vats. Make sure you always aim for the head when doing this. And they'll start acting all weird with their head. Hold on. Yeah, I just um I just failed. Um let me try that again. So I'm gonna hypnotize them in the head again. Right, I'm gonna try once more, and hopefully I'll get this right. Is everything all... Whoa, whoa. Is it me? Or is the world spinning? Right, they'll start doing all this with the head and that. They'll start like messing around with the hands and stuff like that. And you wanna... You have different options. You can say, I want to show you a magic trick. You mind if I borrow some of your stuff? And you can say, this is too easy. Here, put this collar on. And you could just exit dialogue. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna say this. Magic trick? Like, uh, like you'll make something disappear? Sure, I'd like to see you do that. And as you can see, you access their inventory and you can take anything from it. But I'm not gonna do that because I'll just get negative karma. You will, you do get bad karma for doing stuff like this. I'm just gonna wax it. And, um. You can also say, I have some friends who want to meet you. Here, put this collar on. You will get bad karma for this. Whoa. What is it? It's heavy. Oh, well, what friends are you talking about? Do I know them? Um. Then you can say, give my regards to the slavers in Paradise Falls. Move, or your head goes boom. The slavers? I I'm a slave? How did this happen? And as you can see, attack. they'll start running for Paradise Falls, and everybody just attacks you now. Now, this is why I said quick save, because, yeah, people are going to try and kill you. Okay guys, so that's all for today's episode. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is quite a fun weapon to use, but it does give you bad karma. Um, I did not lose any karma actually because I have a different save. And this is before one of my videos, the save I'm using. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.